I would sponsor you, son. Why, thank you. Yeah, he does kind of look like Shaggy, doesn't he? What a weird, like, what a weird, like, reference for somebody to say. Like, yeah. to know that he looks like... Uh, this is Shaggy against Uncle Tito, though. <laughs> so, ancient Hawaiians against... Uh, the Battle of the Cartoons. There we go. Like the ancient Hawaiians always say. A banana on the ground. <laughs> anyway, back to the Means match. A falcon with less stalks. Can't think. I, I can't do it, so... Something like that. Right now, 15% difference between these two. I feel like Diddy would kind of not destroy Ooh. Falcon, but I feel like he would have the upper hand in this matchup just because he is so good at comboing characters, and Falcon is such combo food considering he's so heavy. But uh, also at the same time, Falcon has such strong punishes, so Dark Flame can get just a couple of reads. He might be able to pull this back. Falcon is very momentum-based. But we're seeing such strong plays from C-3PO right now. I mean, look at uh, the way he's using his bananas, the way he's getting the grabs, how he's just capitalizing as much damage as he can every opportunity he gets. Wow. Oh. Very strong start for C-3PO. Yeah, I don't think that was uh, supposed to kill there. He dies very early from that F throw. And right now, Dark Flame is down an entire stock on C-3PO. Very unfortunate. So C-3PO utilizing that uh, peanut popgum reverse. So we didn't think that was in the game for a pretty long time after the game came out, but it did get revealed, and I still don't see a lot of Diddy's using it, but C-3PO has seemed to uh, have it down to a science. Right now he's just punishing Dark Flame for pretty much everything. Diddy with a banana on his hand, or in his hand rather, is probably very difficult for Falcon to approach just because Falcon's two main sources of racking up damage are you know, dash attack and dash grab. Um, but a banana can stuff both of those things. All right. Did he get another forward throw there? Oh, and falls very right through. Very excellent down air from C-3PO. Yeah, he didn't have to do that. Didn't have to, but, you know. That was mean. You're on, you're on stream. You gotta, you gotta look nice. I guess so. At the expense of your fellow man? That seems rude. Oh, Dark Flame didn't deserve that. Nirat, don't look at me. Nirat's looking at me. I hate it when Nirat looks at me. Man. Unless he's watching my stream and giving me money. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> he's still doing it. What the? Okay. So game two, we're going to Dreamland. Um, kind of a strange pick. What do you think? Um, I'm not sure. I'm thinking that... Dark Flame still has a dream that he wants to win this match. Oh my god. So he counterpicks to his favorite stage to have this dream realized. Jesus Christ. That's a, that's a stretch, but thank you very much, King. No problem, For that Tony. excellent... Uh, no problem. Excellent insight. So apparently um, TA stands for True Ambition. True Ambition, c 3 All right. I'm trying to think of a, like a like a good Star Wars joke since his name is C-3PO, but I'm sure it's already been done. Dark Flame right now... Okay, I don't. I think he was expecting a side B. Uh, C-3PO does utilize that monkey flip quite a lot, so I think he was reading something there, but it didn't quite pan out for him. Ooh, very nice uh, strings there by C-3PO, getting the up smash off of the bounce from the stage. We're seeing more of the same from last game. C-3PO is just uh, putting up this wall with his mobility, his projectiles, his bananas. And he's really just racking up percent on Falcon whenever Falcon slips into one of his traps. Yeah. Dark Flame is kind of that classically... Okay, I think he was waiting for something. It didn't quite happen. Dark Flame is one of those classically trained Falcons that will kind of sit back, play defensive dash dance, and then when you make a mistake, he'll punish. Thing is, Diddy Kong is not that kind... Wow, with that Z-catch! That was Very dope. nice. That was not, though. That was ugly. Um, I, that was good thing into bad thing. <laughs> Yikes. But uh, so Diddy is not one of those characters that will make those kind of errors that you can kind of dash dance around and then punish for. Um, and Smash Forward, that's not a particularly strong play style either. So Dark Flame just kind of looks like he's out of his element here. He might be able to get that. Oh, goes for it. Not quite. Such excellent uh, mobility by C3 pair, both on and off the stage. Uh oh. Oh, and like, he throws at the banana, you try to punish it, you can't even do it because the banana's on the ground, like, this is ugly. Where does he even get the bananas, like? There we go, the back air, so he's gonna have to use side B. 
Dark Flame. Dark Flame going a little too deep stage there. Stage control there. Yeah, I'm not sure if I agree with that. Dark Flame just kind of showing kind of inexperience, I think, either in this matchup or with the game in general. So he gets up with the same Ooh. setup that he did before. Happened twice. Damn. Uncle Tito's gonna have to consult the ancient Hawaiians on that. <laughs>